much a good friend. Always been there for us. Such a good friend. I am so grateful, and I hope I am a good friend to you too. Oh, do not be alarmed. This is not another letter asking you for money. But my wife, money is a catastrophe. We are in debt, and my wife, she must have dresses. We are going on vacation. I know it sounds bourgeois, but my wife needs a vacation, and she has to look respectful. What kind of man am I? Not to earn the money to pay for one little dress, for one little dress. We can live like proletariats, live on just potatoes, fire all the maids, and live like proletariats. We can give away our clothes, and I can sell. Just one more time. I would rather have my thumb cut off than write these words to you. So if you could help with just 20 pounds, would you, Frederick, yours truly, Karl Marx? <laughs> <laughs> The sad is a Jewish nigger who won't lend money to a friend. Rather send money down the drain than send it to a friend. Cheap Jewish bastard. Cheap Jewish bastard. Cheap Jewish bastard. Well, then he complained. Because I bark him, he deserves to be marked. Wasting my time exploiting my work. Cheap Jewish bastard. Cheap Jewish bastard. <laughs> if you saw him, you would laugh at him. <laughs> laugh just like I do. Look at the shape of his head. Look at his hair. That curly black hair. And won't even lend me 30 pounds to a good But 
children are not well, and my wife is so demanding. But our man must bow on Frederick. Our work must go on. So if you could just one more time. I would rather have my tongue cut off <laughs> than write these words to you. Uh, so if you could help with just any bones, would you, Frederick? You're such a good friend, always been there for us. Such a good friend, I am so grateful, and I hope I am a good friend to you, to yours truly, Karl Marx. Postscript, your father is a shrine. <laughs>